This special meeting of the Judson Board of Trustees is hereby called to order at 5.01 p.m. I am very pleased that you have taken time to join us this evening. In compliance with the State Government Code on Open Meetings, tonight's agenda has been appropriately posted. Um, I have, we have established a quorum and I will call roll. Ms. Pichel? Renee Pichel, present. Mr. Macias? Present. Mr. Diaz? Here. Ms. Eaton? Present. Ms. King? Shatanya King, present. Ms. Kenoyer? Suzanne Kenoyer, present. And I'm Jennifer Rodriguez, and I am present. Um, all right, we will go on to the acknowledgement of visitors or citizens to be heard. I don't believe that anybody has signed up for public comment. So with that, um, we will go into closed session. The board will now adjourn into closed session pursuant to the following sections of the Texas Open Meetings Act. Um, item A, pursuant, uh, item 3A, pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074, conduct interviews of applicants for the superintendent position. Item B, pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074, consider and discuss applications for the superintendent position. And item C, pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.071, attorney consultation regarding legal issues related to the employment of the new superintendent. Um, the time is now 5.02 and we will um, go into closed session. The board will now reconvene in open session. The time is 8.07. No final action, decision, or vote was taken while the board was in closed session. I will note that um, Mr. Diaz and Mr. Macias had to leave a little bit early, um, but no decision was made. With, uh, no final action or decision was made in closed session. Um, there being no further business, this meeting is adjourned at 8.08 .08 p.m. <laughs>